Hey guys, how you doing? Don't forget to subscribe, put some comments down, put some likes down. Help me along with my gold earned channel, you guys. Keep her coming, and I'll keep bringing you some good stuff. Remember, subscribe, like, make a comment. Okay, what are we doing, Abe? Uh, we're thinking about running away from home and joining a circus. I want to be the guy that cleans up behind the elephant. Because exercise, eh? Big shovels, you know, wheelbarrow shit like that. I'm getting close to getting this old pre-owned artifact just about all put back together. We're gonna try to see if it'll make some smoke today. Test out the clutch, test out the transmission. And I got some bolts here that I need to take out. So for the top of the house, the house on over the transmission. So I guess we'll start by trying to start this pre-owned artifact. This whole stuff is kind of interesting to start. Sometimes it likes to start and sometimes it no matter what you do, it won't start. This thing's been sitting for approximately, I don't know, probably about three years. So we got a battery in here. You know these, the first very interesting thing I come across with this thing is the battery. I put it in here and I've obviously been piddling around in here a little bit before we turn the camera on. And I put the battery in and I couldn't figure out why the positive post would not fit on the, the positive clamp would not fit on the positive post, but it fit on the negative post over here quite nicely. And right here. Starter power wire, it should go to the positive. But this old stuff, I think this thing is negative ground. I think is what it is. So we'll take and hook it up here. That meaning that it's to that one. The negative grounded, the positive is grounded. And why is that? They just did a different back in the day. I really don't know why. The English did it. Anything English is usually the old stuff is all positive ground. And that's what makes me think that this thing may have been in England at one time or it may have some derivative of it, some kind or something or some reason or something in the military. Um, but this here thing's kind of interesting. This old stuff, looking for the old what for right here, it's all mechanical. So, see that right there? It's got a push thing. It turns over nice. It turns over. So that tells me one of two things. It is positive ground because the starter kicks in the bend nicks and it spins it over. If it was in reverse, it would not kick the starter in because it wouldn't throw it out, I, I do believe. Because it's the way it's set up, it, when it spins, it tosses it out. If it went the other way, it would keep it in. So it spins out. The other thing too is the fan. The fan's turning, turning the proper way. It's turning, it's turning clockwise. It's pulling the air through the radiator instead of pushing it out. So the fan's going the right direction. Thus, I think the motor's turning the right way. The other interesting thing with this thing is there's no key for this truck. I don't know where the key is for it, but back in the day, when you watch all the Hollywood movies and everybody's hot wiring cars and they're jamming wires up there and cutting the back and arcing them together. Well, you can kind of do that. So this one here, go to the one side of the coil, the opposite side to go to the points right here. This wire here, this wire here goes to the points. This wire here comes from the battery. Go over here. Give her the what for. See the spark here? Okay, that means the points are open and closing. It didn't spark before. That meant the, that meant the points were open. So the points aren't stuck. Now, another interesting thing on this truck. Don't fall on your head, Matthew. The only thing that will beat you to the hospital will be the headlights on the ambulance. <laughs> this here is what you call an oil bath air cleaner. Okay. That's what they used back in the day. 
They're all environmentally friendly now. They figure they are. We're gonna use paper filters and everything else. Do you see they were environmentally friendly back in the day? These are, this is an oil bath, which means that it runs on a bunch of oil. Okay, it sucks the air through the oil and it goes through a piece of screen and around in a circle and physical agitation and it knocks the dirt out of it. So, there you go. So you gotta keep oil on that at all times or no? You gotta keep, yeah, if you don't keep oil in it won't filter race nothing. It's kind of like your water filtered vacuum cleaner or whatever it may be. It's just called an oil bath. It sucks the air through, it bubbles through the oil, goes into the mesh, the dirt collects in the oil, physical agitation that comes by will give it some, some love. You see, this thing hasn't run in a while, so let's see what it does. Okay. What are you doing in there over there? I'm just, I'm hot wiring it. No, but what are you doing inside the well, cab? Well, come inside here and take a gander. This is how you start this thing. When you're in the inside. Oh. It's a great big old rod right here. Right here. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna run, hopefully. Hopefully the fuel pump's all right on it. Let me see this. Pretty dark in With the rod, oh, that thing in there. I, Where? I need a light, but okay. It's a big old hunk of rod in there. What is it, choke? No. It's a rod that goes through. These things are all manual. It manually hits the starter solenoid there. There's no starter solenoid, it's all manual. That's why you can take and start it like this. My finger's too sore. Uh, There, put the choke on. Give it some what for. Exhaust right there. Probably be all the black smoke coming out of the jewel. Where is it? Right there by the, just take a film right there when I start it. Go back here. It should pop out one of the black smoke. Where is the exhaust? Running. the sound of that. Yeah, I am actually. One less thing to fix. So you're almost done with this? Well, we're gonna take all these broken bolts out of here next. Take a seat. The clutch works here. If you ever get this thing started again. Oh. 
Ether works good on gas engines just as well as it does on a diesel. Sounds like me in the morning and <laughs> just doesn't want to run. <laughs> What's going on? It's cold and it's old. <laughs> kind of rhymes. Cold and old. enough great okay that all runs and works I'm happy I'm happier than I look anyways so what's next then next is We need to put the floorboards back in. There's a whole bunch of broken off bolts, whole bunch of stuff that's not quite right, but we'll, uh, it needs some love. This thing runs more than you know it's uh i'm tired of working on it to be honest with you anyways here's a bunch of broken off bolts they're all broken off um your favorite tool Okay. 
We give these things a little bit of heat. For some reason, heat does wonderful things to stock bolts. As you can see on the other side, they're all broken off. They're all twisted off. They're all frozen in place. Okay. If you can get it to move a little bit. <laughs> oh. Don't breathe the smoke. It's, it's, it's kind of like a vape. <laughs> Cheaper. Well, that, one, that one may be a problem. I thought it loosened it up, but it was wrong. See it nice and red? See how hot it is? See that heat from grinder? Mm -hmm.
the struggle's real. It's a real struggle. Do you do that with every one pretty much? Hey? <coughs> eh? You know what I say to that? Cue the time lapse. <laughs> okay. A couple of them are coming out. A couple of them are not. I gotta think about what I'm gonna do on this. These are, uh, I am uh, going to just drill these holes out. to plan C. So what happened there? Well, the thread left. The thread. The thread should come out. I just don't want to do this. It's only one, I guess. What do you not want to do? I don't want to clean any of these threads. I want nothing to do with this thing right now. Oh well. You know what? We'll just keep going, I guess, and see what happens. It's Keep that. Oh. What we're going to do with them, 
is I'll take a tap and I'll re-tap them quarter inch and just put some new threads in them. You'll get lucky every once in a while. You see here, it caught the threads. God, that's hot. It cut the threads and it'll, it'll turn it right back out. So you drill and it'll catch it and screw them right back out and you got threads in one hole. So out of five holes, I got one good one. You know, sun does shine on dogs every once in a while. Tasks done. I'll get a tap. I'll put some bolts through there and call her a day. It'll be all good. What about the one hole that got the tap blown out? You have to weld that and then re -tap? Yeah, I'll just, uh, where do I put that piece at? I'll either use this piece. Happy? Happy, sad, glad. All of the above. Here, I better. What's that? Hey, take a picture of it now that weld on there. There, that piece is ready to go in. I'll put some bolts through there and just clamp it down. I'm waiting for some other pieces to come in before I put it on, but I think that's pretty much just about got that. We got the old jewel running. It runs. The clutch works on it. It's just about done. I just got to put these two pieces together. I got to go to Deer Lord Co and get a couple parts. A new tap because I wrecked the other one about a month ago. I get a tap and I'll get some other bolts and I'll rethread them holes. And I simply may do it a little bit differently. I may just put a bolt through there and just tack the head and I'll just set the stuff on top of it and put the nut down on and put the bolt on top of it. So there's several different, there's always several different ways of doing something. 100 people will look at it, why didn't you do it like this? Why didn't you do it like that? You could have did it like that. You might have done it like that. Well, you know what? I did it like this. You can do it however you want to do it. That's just one way of doing it. As the old saying goes, there's more than one way to skin a cat, my friends. It's not right and it's not wrong. It's just different. Have a nice day.